you already know what it is. It's your boy Husky. And welcome to Lucid Tempo, where we talk about all the training topics in dance music and showcase upcoming platforms, music, and artists. And you know what time it is. You guys see it above. Guess that tempo. You guys' favorite segment. And we got my partner in the fucking seat, co host, co owner of Lucid Tempo as well. Give it up for Zion Don. What's going on, Zion Don? What's up, Husky? How you doing? I'm ready for this. Ready for this fucking video, the tempo challenge. Bro, we're gonna get I'ma guess the tempos with you. Alright, we're gonna It's a first hey bro, rematch. Rematch. Fuck that oh, shit. Fuck. Rematch, homie. <laughs> so if you guys don't uh wait, did we ever yeah. yeah, yeah, we we fucking had the guess the tempo episode. The versus... I wanna say three to four episodes uh yeah. ago. Uh Robert beat me by one. I believe he got four right, I only got three right. So, you know, I'm here to catch that fade again, you know? I wasn't really too impressed with the way I did, so I had to go back in the fucking uh, training chamber or the hyperbolic, uh, hyperbolic time, time chamber. chamber real had to quick. go in that shit real quick. Had to learn Super Saiyan three real quick. Exactly. Yeah, it, and it. yeah, I feel like now I'm confident. I feel yeah. Like you think Super Saiyan three is gonna do it? No, 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 no. I was Super Saiyan three last video. Oh, and okay. So I'm at Ultra Instinct now. I'm ready. Perfected Ultra Instinct. Uh, no, dude, I'm gonna get 100 percent right on all tracks, bro. Yeah, you got that like... Nagak no Gokui. Bro, I got two G's in my pocket. Get out the pocket and poke in the air. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta get that. You guys gotta listen to that track, dude. Hell Best yeah. way to die. It's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be in most of my sets that I drop at this point. Like, oh, dude, I'm telling you, shit's just a vibe, but. It's just a vibe. Shit, I'm excited to play this game with you, bro. Right. I'm ready to hit this rematch. We brought listen to some sick ass tracks. Um, again, if you're a music producer or anyone that makes music, uh, under dance music, uh, go to the link in the description, uh, feature submissions. Uh, you know, if we, we'll reply to you if we'll feature an episode. So don't be shy. Send us some tracks that you guys are making. You know, if we dig it, we'll feature on a guess the tempo episode. So hit the link in the description. Send it to us, and we'll check it out. But Facts. you ready, Robert? Ready to hit this shit? Yeah, I'm I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I guess I haven't right been practicing. I mean, I never practice, but I use a sync button, so I don't know my tempos. Exactly. So if you're always using sync, don't worry about this shit. Just... <laughs> All right, my boy. So, this first track is by, I believe it's Anko and CM, and it's called Dire. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll see how this sounds just about now. Let's get it. This is fast. I don't like it. You said I don't like it? <laughs> Oh. What the fuck, dog? Ooh, what that was dire fuck? by Anko and CM. God damn. I'm telling you, dude. SoundCloud is where it's at. That's hard. That's a lot, tough. A lot of y'all preach Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music. Since 09, I'm preaching SoundCloud, homie. Sick right. track. But what you feeling on that tempo? So, I kind of want to hear your answer first, but fuck it. Uh, I'm thinking 72. I don't know why I'm thinking 72. Wait, but so I'm you say you want to hear my answer first, but then you say you say your answer? No, I do, Bet. but like I, I just want to know because I wanted it to influence my answer a Okay, so bit. I think it's... I think it's a little faster than that. I think it's like 77. 77? 78. Uh, I want to go with 77. Uh, yeah, you're right. The- I don't know, because I, I want to say 80, but uh, I feel like it's a little too fast than 80. But this is how I'm perceiving right now, the BPM, but I think it's... Seven- I'm going to say 77. 77? Final answer. Okay, I'm going with 72. Final answer? Final answer, my guy. Awesome. Everyone that's listening and watching, oh, get your answer in. Before you hit the send button, make sure you know what you're answering. And here we go. Record box. What's the BPM? Ooh. Oh, 80. Damn, damn. <laughs> Shit, we both got it wrong. God damn. <laughs> Shit. I was almost close. This episode isn't going too well. <laughs> <laughs> I was over here saying I was going to get everything right in the beginning of the video. Well, ain't that some shit? God so damn. The only reason why I said 72 is because it sounded like a track that I play in my sets. And... It just sounded similar, like, but I think it's just because it's that weird trap. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. weird trap s- sits in a realm of, well, from 80 to fucking 60, like. Mm-hmm, right, yeah. You know, and that's a big range for 
four type checks like that. True. Yeah, you're right. You know? So, uh, it's a cool track though. I fuck with it. Yeah, go ahead and stream that. It's a fucking sick track. Hell yeah. All right, here we my go. Set soon. That's, Don't look that at the screen though. Don't look at the screen though. Oh, Don't be, you be cheating. My bad. I swear you be cheating. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> okay. I'm over here controlling the screen too and shit. Right. I'm not looking at. I swear I'm not looking at the BPM. Like you guys saw me get the first one right. Purposely? Wrong. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're about to find out. Oh shit! We're gonna <laughs> decide that shit real quick. All yeah, right, next like, track. Loki, like the tracks we play in these episodes, like some of them I really fuck with, and I'm just gonna keep playing. Like, cause, uh, yeah, yeah. But we, be, you be finding some dope ass trap shit. Try, dude. Try, and I mean, shit. You just gotta dig deep in SoundCloud. Deep. Dig deep in SoundCloud. Gotta go Get deep. the shovel. Gotta go deep. And just dig. And that's what we did. But hey, this next track is from one of our past guests that we had. It's by Choli. Hey, yeah, we got a track boy. by Choli. You gotta get you in here, bro. I know the BPM already. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah, 40 knows the BPM. All right, we're gonna find out though. We're gonna find out. It's this track is by this track is called Like This. It came out seven day, seven, eight days ago. Uh make sure to support Choli, uh one of our close friends of ours from Way back in the days, you know, five, six, From seven Wall years. Hugger days, Since Wall Hugger days with George, Shout uh, out. Ping Pong, you know, oh, that all was them. so fun. It Honestly, was fun. When I think of a time when I was having the most fun DJing, it was probably that time. One of the probably one of those times because we were just vibing out there. We'd go to this little studio setup he had, play some Super Smash Brothers, and like, we're just worried DJ. about DJing, yeah. <laughs> like just trying to DJ. And at that time, that's when like I've really started focusing on producing as well. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. I was able to like. Produce tracks and then go onto the stream and then play it on the yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yep. And I fucked with that so heavy. That was so fun. But yeah, shout out George. Also, to add on to that, it was crazy to me too. Like back in that day, like in 2014 through 2016, 17, like what they were doing to me, like it all looked foreign. Like, I was like, damn, how do you connect? How do you stream this shit to like Twitch? And then now, like after the years, like <laughs> it's been all simplified. I'm like, damn, look, it's kind of we well. Do it. At least from us, it's 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 easy. Like the uh, the system and how everything's all processed with streaming and doing this, but. We we be growing, bro. Like we be yeah, growing. We don't be crazy. stuck. We don't it's be stuck crazy. at a certain level. But we don't ever want to. But check stuck. this out, Choli. Like this, I believe it's out on everywhere. But I heard it's on SoundCloud, so go check it out on SoundCloud. True. Let's get it. All right, one twenty six. Final answer. Like <laughs> I think I got my answer. I'm hella glad he's the homie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out Choli. Hell yeah, bro. Always making fucking... Fu- Honestly, that, that's... he's been on his shit, dude. That's so him, too. Because if you've ever heard any of his sets, that's the vibe he's on when he's oh, dropping yeah. sets and uh-huh. shit, you know? I like that he produces it. what what, what, what matches him, you know? It's fucking yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Fucking dope. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. What, what, what are you thinking here? What are you thinking I'm going to be safe. Because I've always felt like I've done better <laughs> when I'm safe, so I'm going to hit... 127. I'm at 127. All right. I'm going to go with this 120. I want to be said. I just want to get this one right. So I'm going to go 127 too. <laughs> right. But I'm not going to lie. When we were listening to it, I low-key said 126, final answer. But like, Chuck wasn't over yet, so. No, I got you. I mean. So 127, final answer. 127. All right. I'm, I'm with you. 127. What is it, Record Box? 130. 128. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We tied up. Damn, Chola, you almost got us. Almost true, but true. you know how to play it safe, and that's the that's your best bet. Wherever you go, just go in between. If you're not really too sure what the BPM is, but sick track, Chole. Go ahead and stream Fuck that. Yeah, Keep on what fucking pushing shit, bro. It, it gets better every time I hear your fucking stuff, dude. It's super good, and you be getting them plays. I fuck with that. True, true. All right, this next one is called "On the Floor" by Chack, and I believe this is a hybrid trap release. Ooh. So yeah, shout out Hybrid Trap. Yeah, dude. Shout out Hybrid Trap. They've been in the game for plenty of years curating what I think in at least in the trap scene, like what they think is hot. And a lot of times, you know, they're, they're on top of shit with the freshest tunes. You know, shout out Zach, H O D J, uh shout out Victoria as well. Nice. You know, one of our uh, one of our closest friends, you know, she she's tight as fuck. She's so uh, she's glad so to cool. have met her, you know, an honor. Hope you guys are all doing good. 
Let's check this record. Let's see what Hybrid Traps been pushing out. I'm excited to hear this. Well, I heard the show. I'm excited to hear it, but I'm not excited to (laughs) get it. Straight up, I'm gonna say 75. You're gonna say 75? I think I think I think I'm I'm 175, cool dude. Fuck. Wanna run that back real quick? Um yeah, please. Same drop? Uh yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, 150, yeah. Okay, 150. Yeah. Zion Zion says 150, I say 75. Same I was shit. thinking 130 at first for some reason, because I feel like if I put the kicks in there, it would be that, like, housey, but that's a little too fast for you me. You know, I would agree with you on that, and I think it's the way the subs come in for me. Yeah, yeah. Because I always feel like that sub tone information, I hear it in the 130 trap range. Yeah, but I, the way the sun, the drop comes in, I know that... That that come in. I know that space in between until the drop hits from in a one fifty track. You know, okay. I produce a lot of one fifty, and you know I like to leave that space there too. True. So that really like influenced my thinking of one fifty. Yeah. Yeah. So one fifty final answer. One fifty final answer. All right. Well, I'm gonna say seventy five, which is the same shit for those who are confused. Uh, <laughs> final answer. So let's get it. And shout out Chuck for that track. I think it's a whole EP too. That's one of the tracks of the EP. So go on Hybrid Trap or go on Chuck's profile. It should be pinned right there. Uh, record box, what's the BPM? 150, hey. you see? Fuck, oh, dude. You got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Ah, uh, fuck. That was a banger. On it the Flow by Chuck. Go ahead and follow him and stream the track. Damn. Awesome, awesome. Oh, dude. Don't forget like... It's all gonna get better right now, like, bro. Like, uh, shocked at something you hear, like, where you just don't understand sometimes. Because as a music producer, right? Like, like, you try to understand as to why they came to that? Why and how? Like, because I'm, I'm real into the technical aspects of things, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm, whenever I hear, like, a specific synth or a specific sub, I'm always thinking, how did they make it, you know? Okay. Was this serum and then a bunch of other VSTs on top of it? Or, I see what you're saying. You or was know? it just, like, a sample that already heavily processed and yeah, it's already, like, there? Yeah. I got you. Or did you automate it? Like, you know, there's certain things that, like, intrigue me about this type of music. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Hmm. That well, I want to see what you think about this particular remix by Bacon. This is the actual artist name, Bacon. Bacon? I Bacon. fuck with Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the remix from Habstract's track, Gotta Be. Habstract came out with a remix EP, uh-huh. and I came across his remix. I thought it was pretty sick. Uh, more on the drum and bass side, but... Oh, it was drum and bass? Yeah, so... Yeah, it's going to get a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's find no, out. I don't know really drum and bass tempo, so we're going to see. We're about to find out. You're right. We're about to find out. Let's get it. Gotta be Bacon Remix. That sub right there was hard. That oh, like after nice. that, like one bar, the yeah, doom, yeah, yeah. doom. And it like, yeah, nah, it was, it was hard. I'm going to be straight up. I think mean, that's like the segment where I was like, okay, I'm going to just, I, I think it got me. Because yeah. at first when it dropped, I was like, okay, this is nice. And then after that segment, where that sub, like that doom, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So oh I'm, yeah, this is it. I'm not a big drum and bass fan. I could, I, could, I think I could admit that. But like, and that the beginning of the track, I wasn't like amazed at it. But once I heard that like little fluctuation of the sub, I was like, oh, you got me. 
I fuck with this. Yeah. Because Gotta be patient. Yeah, I don't know. It's patient. too fast paced for me. I'm not that type of a person where I, need I got to be you. moving like that. I'm too like chill to be on drum and bass. I think. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm gonna go 160. 160. Yeah. I'm gonna say 174. 174. Yeah, so that's 80, 87. I'm gonna say 87. Final answer. All right, well, I'm going to go 160 just because that's the only, like, drum and bass tempo I really know in. I have made drum and bass on 160, so yeah. it's everywhere. It's within the 80 to 89, and I was 90. thinking, like, that kind of sounds like some shit you've made. Yeah, it's so everywhere. I'm going 160. You probably know better than me. All right, though, well, so I'm going to say 87, 174, final answer, record box, no mercy. Oh, oh right it. on the fucking dot. Yeah, that's dr- Yeah, I don't know drum and bass. <laughs> if it sounds like drum and bass... For anyone that's new, when it comes to German bass, you know, just always start at, for me, 174 or 87. Like, I, if it's, like, if it's supposed to sound like authentic, true German bass, like, when you think, like, oh, yeah, it's German bass, like, I think, like, one set, 174 or 87 is, like, the... I can see why you say 80, though. Like, it's still, like, within that same range. Yeah, what's it called? You know who I do fuck with, though? Like, Heavy that plays German bass? That's really mm-hmm. low-key. Shout out to Retro... I think he's a Retro Spec artist. Dub Sex? DMB? Yeah. Uh yeah, I think right? he makes his more dubstep. Does he? Was it him that did? Alright, so look. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm I might be tripping on him. I think uh I think I'm talking about Ben 10 or something like that. Maybe <sighs> Ben 10. Cause dubstep, like he does dubstep, but like I've actually booked him for a low end lineup with uh-huh. Clank and he did a straight house set. So like he like I just know uh, he vibes when he's DJing. Oh for no, sure. Dubstep, yeah, dude. Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah, Dubstep, sure bro. Like, when he's DJing. you guys ever are in a are an opportunity to go catch Dubstep and see like actual passionate do it, DJing? Do like Dubstep is the person to see, man. Yeah. Fucking, it's a great time watching him fucking Hell get yeah. down. Like he, I, he's the type of person that keeps energy, and I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. There's like DJs out there that get behind some boot, get get behind the booths and some decks, and like. You could tell they just they don't want to be there. Like mm-hmm. they, they just, just rather be like in the crowd, like doing. They're not de- not DJing, you know. But yeah. I don't know. That's another conversation. But Damn, this next sad. track, it's called it's by Renegade. Yeah, yeah it's by Renegade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the first time I met Renegade, mm-hmm. I actually did I meet him uh, like at a pregame, like post COVID at uh, I think it was base house. Yeah, Cody's house. I think it was his house. Yeah, it was at uh, his house in the garage, and I met him there, and we all mobbed it to Pomona for the underground entertainment show in Pomona. I uh, met him there. He dropped some tracks with Cody. Cody let me drop some tracks with him that, that day, too. Yeah, uh, and ever since right. then, he's been dropping tracks. Renegade, you know, uh, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Uh, I think he's based out in Las Vegas right now. But, uh, yeah, this track is called Tendies. Uh, came out, I want to say, a week or two ago. Somewhere around there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but let's check it out. It's by Renegade, man. Tendies, <laughs> bro. I think I'm confident, bro. 145? I was playing 145, too. But that's low-key, that, that's some... 145 is a tricky BPM, honestly. Yeah, because sometimes people, you can hear it as, like, a little bit faster than what it actually is, or a little slower. But honestly, this sounds really fucking slow. It is. I, I, honestly, I want to say... And I want to... I, look... I don't want to go in between. I think I'm going to just say 70. You're gonna go 70? Yeah, it sounds like 70 slow, bro. Like, it does sound fast. It don't sound slow. like, because 145, I wanna say it sounds a bit more faster than that. Like, I'm gonna go 145. 145, final answer. Yeah, yeah I think I'm gonna say slow. 140, bro, or 70. I don't know, it sounds like... 
I guess we'll I guess we'll fucking see record balls. What the uh, final answer? Final answer. Now, the thing is, that's rhythm. And if I'm gonna like judge this based off of who I think uh, Homeboy Renegade is, I'm gonna say he was like, all right, I need to make a rhythm track. So let's make sure it's at 145 to make sure everyone knows it's rhythm. Renegade, is that what you were thinking, bro? Like maybe not. D- this design is just not my fucking <laughs> my thinking, but yeah. Record box. Be nice to us, but let us know. Oh, hey, 145. Well, okay, yeah, bet. Bet. Yeah. That's straight Damn, rhythm. I right forgot there. that shit. I, I got it wrong. Fuck. I thought it was slower than fucking 145. I was thinking 70, but. It was shit. slow. No, I give you that. It was really fucking slow. It sounded like 70, bro. And yeah. that's a, and it goes back to what you were saying when it's like 145. It's like, all right, the needle's going this way. It's slower, or maybe it's like, you just don't know. Like, Ah, uh, shit, just been safe. Confusing. God damn it, gotta be safe, bro. Yeah, but look, the only reason why I chose 145 is because I know it's rhythm. Like, I know he was trying to go for rhythm, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And if it's you're that, going that rhythm, for like, rhythm, yeah. you gotta just put it in 145. <laughs> just put it at 145. Or you could, uh, you could do a Young Retro and uh, Synthetic, 147. dude. 147, bro. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking weirdos. <laughs> hey, that was a sick collab, though. Uh, <laughs> that was a sick yeah. collab, but... Uh, yeah. Shout out Renegade. That was track... The track was called Tendies. And that BPM was 145, so... Yeah. Hey, appreciate uh, you, Renegade. Fuck yeah, you. shut out, Renegade, bro. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably run into each other in the near future, bro. I mean, Definitely. We, we, got a lot, we got a bunch of shit lined up for us. I, no doubt about it. Yeah, he's putting in work, too, so fuck with that. Exactly. All right, his next track. Woo! His next track's a fucking banger, bro. I fucking came across this shit. It's like fighting gold, bro. It's like if you were in the 1700s, you were... You traveled from New York to go to California during the gold rush, and you found yourself some gold. This is what the fuck it is right here. Herbs and Gnar is called Fight. Just a fucking track title. Fight. Fight. We're about to find out how this shit goes. It's always some shit. Like they had a track called Damn that came out and Food that artists? shit. Huh? With artists? Herbs and Gnar. Herbs and Gnar. Herb Herbies? I don't know, I'm sorry, but uh yeah, I gotta put some pronunciation marks on that shit. I got <laughs> it helps out a lot to be honest, but, uh Herbs I and Gnar. That. That was it's cool. called Fight. So let me ask you this. What genre do you think that is? I'm gonna say trap. You're gonna say trap? Yeah, I'm gonna say trap, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just because of the sense that's used and like the the, the structure. Cause I I, I won't say upset. At yeah, all. no, you're right. But I think uh, trap. Independent question of that. What do you think freeform bass is? So freeform bass for me is a particular type of trap. Where it's not, where the sense. So is, freeform is a, is a form of trap. You'd say. Out of all the freeform bass that I've heard, and where I feel like the style comes from, I feel like it's it's definitely still in the trap realm. Hmm. Okay. Um, and that's just me though. Like, it's just uh, all the criteria of trap, like, uh, freeform bass hits, except freeform bass. Like, it, it it relies a lot on like the ambient tone, and maybe it's sometimes not the ambient tone, but it's just like something like uh, you it's still open. hear some trap shit. It feels, it like, feels open. That's yeah. That's yeah. When I just, think of freeform, I think of like an open track. Yeah, yeah. Like experimental trap, uh, more like in free. I don't know. It's uh, I think freeform bass is like a. It, it comes from trap. I think uh, that's what I believe. I think it comes from yeah, maybe. I think it comes from bass music, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. Honestly, well, specifically, I think bass music. Like it's just a combination of uh, open. I don't. Yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know. I mean. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is trap. Uh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Trap's BPM, complicated. Though. EDM's complicated as a whole. <laughs> but what you feeling, dude? I'm gonna say seventy five, bro. I'm gonna say seventy five. I don't know. Can you I'm say seventy five. Yeah, I wish you. I don't know. Sounds like some trap shit to me. Seventy five trap shit. Seventy five really? equals trap. Trap equals 75. Or 150. 75. What were you thinking? Um, can, you, can you play it again? <laughs> Bad. I'll play that shit again. <laughs> It 
could be freeform bass because of the sound. The woo 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 woo. No, maybe right. All right, so right. so like I could say freeform bass too because with trap sometimes the bass like it drags on, but with freeform bass the the sub a lot of times it's attached to the synth that's present, mm -hmm. and with this one I feel like the synth has like its own form of bass that comes in every time the synth comes in. Yeah. And for freeform bass is uh, oh that's a particular sound I hear present a lot in freeform bass. Yeah, I just don't hear like a, a trap snare on this. That's the only reason why I don't want to put it in. Trap oh, the snare yeah. sounds more like a clap. I like, like it's just not a trap snare. It's, it's I don't know. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, like a, it's yeah. not a trap snare, though. I got it. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I feel um, it. Nah, fuck. Yeah, I'm fine to answer 75, 150. That's a good fucking answer. I don't want to just copy your answer either. I mean, it, <laughs> I mean, I mean if you think it's educated. right, then it's right. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, all right, let's go 147. You see synthetic and fucking young retro? Work pays off. 147. I say 150 then. Hold on, wait. Wait, wait. Actually, I didn't say final answer. Alright. Uh nah, one one forty eight. One forty eight. One forty eight. One forty eight, yeah, yeah, yeah one forty eight. We doing one forty eight. Yeah, yeah. one forty eight. <laughs> one forty eight. Final answer. I'm about to uncover it, bro. I'm about to answer for you. All right, final answer. I say seventy five, one fifty. Let's get it. Oh, what, Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I was gonna I was gonna say forty five too. Forty five? One forty five. <laughs> what? That don't even sound like one forty, bro. It doesn't. I'm kinda pissed. Hey, yo, did that shit sound nah, like one forty? So, it did not sound like one forty, bro. It sounded like seventy five to me, dude. It did. It, it no, it did. It did straight sound like one seventy five. You know? Seventy five. But like whatever, I mean, I fuck with it still. <laughs> that structure fucked me up, man. Shout out herbs and Nar. The track is called Fight. God damn. Some sick ass tracks that we played today, man. I mean, and for those that want to have your shit submitted for a chance to be featured in our Guess That Tempo episode, go to the link on the description, fill out the form, uh, put your information, private sound call link, we'll check it out. Um, yeah. How'd you feel about that, Robert? How'd you think you were going to do? As good as I did, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been, pra well, I don't practice, so it's like, I don't guess, I don't be guessing tempos like that you know? and, and also just so you guys know like i don't believe yeah i believe that robert doesn't practice on temples i don't practice on temples either like i just listen to music and i don't worry about what the tempo is until it's actually Never. time to record and like, all right fuck i actually gotta do some shit and also like i don't listen to edm music like this either so it's true EDM music god i need to stop saying that true. <laughs> like i don't listen to edm on the regular like this anymore so like this shit's so challenging to me now especially because you're, you're doing good so far Especially because music has ch changed and developed and stuff <clears throat> like that. Yeah. To where it's like, you really don't know what the fuck is going on. But I mean, it is what it is. What I got to right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, that last one fucked us up. <laughs> <Bro, laughs> God damn it. But shit, Zion Dom, bro. We fucking got through it, bro. That was Guess That Tempo. But you got three right? Yeah, I think I just got three right, bro. Fuck. What did you, you only got three right? I got two. Two? two? Yeah, I think I got. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, we we'll, we'll looked at the video, but I, I did the same, <laughs> oh, no, bro. Yeah. I did the fucking same. I, I no growth, no, no fucking growth. growth. I'm stuck where I'm at. <laughs> you see, so even someone like myself that that like does this with Robert, like even I'm still stuck at this level. Like, I'm temples are everywhere. So, <laughs> again, some just a little exercise if you guys want to do at home. You know, uh, download a DJ software or a program that reads tempos. Put a track in there. Close your eyes or don't look at the BPM. Play the drop or just play the beat and just you know practice. Because uh, I need to practice. <laughs> I need to practice. I just need to DJ more EDM. That's what it is. True. All True. Right, well, appreciate you for having me on here. For sure, dude. I appreciate having, you, you know? fucking, you know, <laughs> being in that position in that seat. Because usually on the other side of the camera. I know. It's kind of more fun watching everybody else in this position, though. Yeah. Because I like seeing their facial reactions when they're like, fuck, what is this? <laughs> you know, because you be playing some weird shit and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, true, true. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you guys for tuning in to Guess That Tempo. And that was episode 17. Facts. Already episode 17, bro. Watch, watch till we get to 100, 1,000. 
ten thousand. Shit. Yeah, that's True. already like five, ten years in the making. We going. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for tuning in. Every Mondays and Fridays, we're uploading a new episode. Uh, same guests. Wednesdays we do clips. We're also available on SoundCloud. If you're a music producer, uh, go on the link in the description. Uh, submit your songs. We'll go ahead and check that out. Possibly get a feature on a guest at Temple episode, or maybe even uh, put it in a clip recap that we do on oh, our post. So uh, we'll make sure to credit you whenever we can. Once we know the, what the track ID is, and um, thank you guys for supporting. This is Husky. To my right, your left, aka Zion Don, aka True Rob too. True Rob, that's my at name on social medias. That's my personal account. And then if you go to True Rob Beats on YouTube, you'll see a bunch of beats on there. So yeah, check me out. Thanks again for doing this with me, Robert. To yeah. you know, guest temples with me. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll see you on the next episode. Later, guys. Let's see out.